Hello guys, welcome to Geekomania! As usual, that's Michael. That's Mark. And that's Ben. Hello, welcome to Geekomania. Today we're reviewing uh, the film that should not be called Superman because we're ashamed of it, Man of Steel. I thought it was a good film. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, always sure so! That. Michael, what are your thoughts <laughs> of uh, the Man of Steel? Uh, as I'm sitting in between, I'm I'm between because Ben hates it and Mark does, Mark loves it. Uh, I wouldn't uh, say I love it. I would say it's a good film. I wouldn't say I loved it. I loved. Uh, um, I, would I say, wouldn't say I hate it. I'd say it was a good. No, it, I I would say it was hyped up way too much as the trailer. Oh yeah. Which wasn't okay. Yeah. It was a short trailer, which is a teaser trailer. Came out when Dark Knight Rises was um, out. So it's like that's a huge amount of hype. For, it's like a whole year of hype. And when I watched it, I was like. They shouldn't have had this at all. Yeah, plus it's also directed and produced by Nolan, uh, Christopher Nolan and It's um, not written and directed Snyder. by Christopher Nolan. Okay, right, there we go. You know what um, I'm saying, it's produced and directed. Yeah, no, I agree with you on the hype. I mean, um, a lot of uh, aspects of the film kind of annoyed me because you can clearly see that some shots in the film weren't there to be cool shots. They were there to be trailer shots. And even some dialogue was meant to be, you know, it's like stuff like, you are meant for great things, son. It's just like, all of this stuff is like, they're just building a trailer in the film. It's kind of, it's lazy. It's, it's annoying that they just like throw in marketing stuff. It's like and stuff like, they go to like a 7-Eleven and crap, and it's, there's too much product placement. And, uh, and there's, the characters are inconsistent, the writing is sloppy, the screenplay is terrible for this film. It's bloated, it's you know, just boring, flat out boring most of the time. The dialogue is forgettable. I think there's one witty line in the whole thing, and that's like one of the last lines of the film. And it's uh, it's it's frustrating because there's a lot of character inconsistencies. Zod isn't a very compelling villain. His motivations are weirdly kind of inconsistent and not very clear. And there's a lot of MacGuffins. Oh god, are there MacGuffins in this film? There's so many times where you're just like, Hey, you see this little S symbol? That's, that's really important, guys. Look at this. Look, you see how important this is. And, uh, oh, this skull, this skull, this skull that's just turned into ash. That's really important, guys. Remember that skull? That's really important, guys. So important. And the fact that this isn't an S is really important, guys. And uh, it, it's just, it, it was a masterclass in bad writing. But it was also a masterclass in special effects, because this film is pretty. Yes, as much as I hate pretty. this film, and, it's beautiful, and the and, fight scenes are really good. And you know Zack Snyder's good for his prettiness and making each shot look amazing. Yeah, Zack Snyder... Like, 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 even that simple shot of just uh, him in his garden with the butterfly, I thought was amazing, just those yeah, simple shots. Visually, Zack Snyder is very interesting. Mm. The problem is, is that while all these fights are going on, and they're really cool looking, and they're really pretty... There's no feelings, there's no emotion. I mean, the thing I compared this to was the Avengers. When you're watching the fights in Avengers, they're fun, they're a bit humorous, like, there's not a lot of, like, you know, feels, there's not a lot of, like, you know, oh, I'm so sad that New York's getting blown up. It's all just like, yeah, Iron Man's kicking a dude, and then Thor's stabbing a guy, and then Thor's whamming it into the dude, and it's all just like, it's fun, it's dynamic, but Superman is, like, the fights are like that, but since the whole rest of the film is portrayed as mopey and dark, it's not going for the fun. It's going, mm. to, it's trying to get you here when it should just be get, trying to get you into that childish fun mode. And yeah, it's not, that's... and the fights suffer for it, because there's no emotion in those fights. It's not like, oh, I feel so sad that Superman's punching Zod for a building. Oh, it's so dark. Why can't he... Why can't he just be normal? Why are his parents dead? It's so sad. That works in Batman, because Batman's a mopey character. Superman yeah. is not. And Superman doesn't save people in this film. He lets loads of people die, needlessly. And that's not Superman. Superman saves everyone. He saves the day. And he just went all mopey and angry and killed people. He killed us. He killed someone. Superman does not kill people. Yes, he did. And he kills a dude. And he lets his dad just die. That's not Superman. Why would you do that? Spoilers. <laughs> Bit late. <laughs> Shut up. Mark, put a big spoilers thing somewhere so I don't I do. disappoint you. Everything that Ben said, I got from the first trailer, like you said, Dark Knight Rises, where it's just that thing where at the end he flies up. Yeah. It's like watching that. It's like most trailers, you go, oh, I really want to see that. That, just nothing. They might as well just show a black screen for yeah. two minutes. Kia's here, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm here on camera. We have a special guest. Oh, Carl, say hello to the guys, Carl. Sup, 
<laughs> Off screen <laughs> guest that's, that's mania. Carlos voice. Yes. <laughs> We're in makeup at the moment. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's frustrating because there's a lot of good in this film. Like, um, the co like a lot of the atmosphere is quite good. It is too mopey, but like the acting is almost all very good, uh, yeah. except for Lois. Um, because I thought Lois wasn't that bad. Lois Lane is a bad character as is, and making her badly acted is not going to help that. Because Lois Lane is the damsel in distress. Just yeah. is, and there's nothing interesting about her. She's, she's not attractive. She's not interesting. Well, she's yeah, just there. Yeah, Amy Adams is attractive. She's not. Re she she's vaguely pretty, but I wouldn't say like, <laughs> oh yeah, no, I really want to, you know, go to town with that. It's just, oh okay, she's there. She's vaguely nice to look at, I guess. Uh, what's she do again? She's a journalist or something. Oh, it's kind of boring. And you have you have Lawrence Fishburne, one of my favorite actors, and he has nothing to do in this film. Literally, the most interesting thing he does in this film is grab a spade. Literally, that's that's the highlight. Someone's trapped in rubble. And he's like, "I'll get a spade." It's just like, this you you have like you have Morpheus, and you're just doing this. Anything you want to what say, is... dude? Um, that they change uh, Superman way too much, obviously, by the sound of what Ben said. About things like they take away um, how he originally gets his powers and his weakness, and they also take away. Um, they they kind of have this. They, they kind of they, actually that's kind of still similar, like. It's it's not too that stuff's not too different. Like the fact that stuff from Krypton can still hurt him is still clearly in place. They don't really explain it very well. It just kind of happens. Yeah. Um. And the f he, he doesn't have a secret identity, really. Yeah. No. Every, like Lois Lane knows he's Superman. Lois Lane knows Clark Kent Superman. Like all of the drama there is gone, and they're just kind of in love for no reason. It's not believable that these two are in love in this film. They just kind of like Superman saves Lois like twice, and Lois is just like, "Oh, marry me! You're so beautiful, Superman." And it's just that's not. <laughs> it's 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 just bullcrap and annoying, and it's frustrating because it could have been really good, and it just wasn't. It was mediocre, bloated, and in, in the older Superman, yeah. isn't Lois Lane a bit? Um, she's she's a bit sassy and she's yeah. kind of interested in that way interesting in that way. But in like, this one she's all the, like you're the, you're the man. The of. one scene, the only scene I have ever liked Lois Lane. I can't remember which uh, film it is, but it's one of the animated Superman fil films. And uh, Brainiac is delivering this massive speech to Earth as a whole, and specifically Lois Lane, and is just like outlining the ways that he has armies and armies of unstoppable maddening creatures that Superman could not possibly defeat and that humanity has no hope and Lois just looks Brainiac dead in the eyes and just does this. <laughs> and that is the only time I've ever liked Lois. <laughs> and it's, 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 that's it. And there's none of that interesting sassiness in this at all, ever. Not even yeah, in he the also slightest. Seems like it, it, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't seem the same as the other Superman's in all the other Superman films. He's too mopey. It's too dark. It should be it fun like and silly and, and glorious and yeah, flying through the air at the speed of sound. But yeah, I, it's but not I, that invincible either. Yeah, but I think <laughs> the whole he's all really in a single bound. Yeah. Yeah, but I kind of think as well with the success of the Dark Knight and film stuff because they don't. They want to take away, move away from this, the fun loving sort of Marvel feel and and they, a lot of people don't like Superman because he's too powerful and too this and too that and they want to the kind of. Well, make him more human. The interesting thing about Superman, this is how you make an interesting Superman scenario. Not necessarily a film, a comic, a game, whatever. It's always villains are stacking the odds against Superman. Not to try and kill Superman, because it's almost impossible to kill Superman. The way you get Superman is by killing everyone else. Going after Metropolis, his city. Going after Lois, his girlfriend. Going after people he cares about. Like In this film... Mom. In this film, Superman does not give a single fuck about anyone but Superman. No, his mum. That's like, it. When, he, when they were attacking his mum, he went... Even, even then, even then. Went. Okay, so, like, they were attacking his mum. Three goons, right in front of his mum. What does he do? He punches Zod, ten miles away, chases after Zod. Leaves his mum with two clearly dangerous, super-powered Kryptons. That's not giving a fuck. That is not giving a solitary fuck. For all he know, those two goons have gone, oh, is Superman over there? Cool. Uh, uh, Miss uh, Clark? Miss Kent? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is your neck. And uh, there we go. Jobs are good. <laughs> he doesn't... And half of Metropolis dies! Like, it. Th this scenario could have been interesting if Superman was, like, going, shit, everyone is dying. I am failing as a hero. That would have been more interesting. Instead, he's just like, nah, fuck it, I'm God. And that's not Superman.
That's, that is bizarro kind of talk. It's the fucking, I don't, I'm not sure what that is, but I don't even care. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's, yeah, they, it's just, it's frustrating, <laughs> and I've ranted the time. whole time. Anyway, you guys, I've blabbed on enough about why I don't like this. You guys, I thought, say your piece, Mark. I thought it was a good film. Visually, I thought it was amazing. The fight scene's really cool. And one of the funniest things, which actually wasn't part of the film, which I thought CM Punk said was, if uh, Superman knew Jiu-Jitsu, there wouldn't be any, any new flat destruction, which there was a lot of destruction. But I've got to say the fight scenes are really cool. That, that's a plus point for you. CM Punk is pointing out a lot of the big problems with that just by saying that. Yeah, no, but it was funny, but I thought the visuals were good and I honestly enjoy it. And plus I had good company. A big problem. As well. in, in that scene that CM Punk's mentioning there, he's got a guy in a headlock. And he, Superman sees fit, sees fit that the only way to stop this situation is to break the guy's neck. You're Superman. Fly up. Or punch him into orbit. Or freaking sledgehammer punch him into the earth. Or just anything. You're Superman. You can do with literally anything. You make the impossible possible. And you kill a dude. That's not Superman. Mikey? Your opinion about the film then, dude? Uh, hopefully, this is a Batman Begins Superman. And yes, I agree. In, in the second one, he probably realised that he has to save people. I look forward Superman. to a sequel, because it's a good setup. you're right. I, I, mm. I, hope, I hope that this um, Man of Steel is the is is first of many, three yet, maybe, um, that he's actually, um, in the second one, realises he's got to save everyone and not let everyone die, and, and, and he learns from mistakes. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And it might have it, if you notice as well, hints for Lex Luthor, like Lex Corp and stuff, so maybe the next one might have Lex Luthor in it. Uh, in my opinion, Bat as Batman? Batman should fight Lex Luthor too, though. <laughs> uh, Superman should always fight Lex Luthor, because like, uh, Lex Luthor is, for me, the only villain for Superman, really. Same with Batman's real only villain, is probably the joke. No, Batman, Batman has, a, Batman's got a, lot. Batman has yeah. a good rogues gallery. Superman's rogues gallery is kind of shitty a lot of the time. Who was that really cool? Are watching the cartoon, the one that used to ride the bike? Ghost Rider. <laughs> he used to be. He used to be a. Uh, he used to ride the bike and the whips and stuff. Look, you like a. Really... Sounds a lot like Ghost Rider. Yeah, sounds almost exactly like Ghost Rider. You might say. No, he Are was say... like he was like a biker bloke. He yes, was... yeah, Ghost Rider. No, not Ghost Rider. He was from DC. He used to fight against Superman. Can't remember his name. Obviously not Ghost Rider. So... No, not Ghost Rider. He was um, grey with like a massive like biker beard with the biker like look. He used to like drive around on like a motorbike, go around different like worlds and stuff. Oh, you mean Lobo? That's it, Lobo. I don't know that Lobo is specifically a Superman villain. And Lobo is not that interesting as a Superman villain. He's more interesting as like an anti hero. Ah, oh, okay. He looked cool to me, so that's why I mentioned him. He looked quite cool riding the bike and stuff like a proper. But yes, anyway. Like some of the Mark, stars. Probably maybe three and a half, four at the most, depending on the day. I'd say two or three. Uh, I'm going with a solid two and a half. It's not without merit, it's still good to watch for visuals, and I do look forward to a sequel. This film isn't without merit. Um, there, there are good parts. It's just a shame that they got the screenplay so badly wrong and the, the characterization of Superman really, really not accurate in my eyes. A lot of people will disagree with me, and a lot of people have disagreed with me, but for me, that's not what Superman should be about. Uh, Superman should be about, you know... Justice and glory and the American way and being and standing up for the weak and being a paragon of all that is good in the world. And that is why... Not being mopey. And that is why the saying is awesome, Ben. Opinions like arse cells, everyone has one. What about people who have had their arse tragically cut off in a horrific accident? You're making fun of them? <laughs> yes. Two and a half stars. Anyway, that's Michael. And that's Mark. And that's our Ben. Bye guys. Bye guys. This is not professional. Oh, what bike yeah. you have a phone call? Is it Ben Hawks? Quick. Hello. This is all recorded. <laughs> what will Mikey find out in his phone call?